For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing the man cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys what I think are the best abilities and X factors to use in just about every single position in Madden 24, whether you play online CFM or whether you play Mutt. It should be pretty similar. So, if you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be subscribed or hit like button and let me know in the comment section. And other than that, it's going to get right into the video. Now, for all the abilities and X factors I'm going to show you guys, you have to keep in mind that it's also important to build this around your scheme. So, if you like to play a lot of man coverage or a lot of zone coverage, obviously it's going to be more important to pick X factors that match that. Quarterback is probably the most important position, and there's multiple options here depending on how you like to play. If you're more of a passing player, I would say dots is one of the best options as it will guarantee perfect passing accuracy once you're in the zone. But another one that I find is probably the most helpful, maybe out of all of them, especially if you can't read a defense, is Omaha. As I know a lot of people have a hard time reading defenses, especially if your opponent likes to hide their coverage by going into their coaching adjustments and setting their auto alignment to base. A lot of times that'll make it very difficult to read a defense, and Omaha will expose that regardless. So to me, Omaha is probably the best one because when you can read a defense prior to the snap as well as Omaha allows you to do, it makes it that much easier to play offense once the ball is hiked. A lot of people really like to scramble to basically buy time. If you do that, you're going to want to use things like Escape Artist as this will give you the ability to uh, you know, overcome poor blocking or maybe you're just not good at setting up your blocks because a lot of people don't understand that when it comes to Madden, you have the ability to control the pass rush based off of how you move uh, in the pocket, but a lot of people aren't very good at that. So Escape Artist is a way to really make that easier for people that don't know how to do that very well and I find that's obviously one of the better ones as well and then the last one is run and gun where basically if you like to run and move in the pocket a lot it can really mess up your accuracy where run and gun can make it to the point where you won't lose that accuracy as, as long as you're th when you're enter the zone as long as you're throwing on the run you'll have perfect accuracy which is another issue a lot of people have where they like to you know they don't like to set their feet before they throw and a lot of times you don't have time to set your feet before you throw so run and gun is very a very good option but x factors don't necessarily unlock all the time and to me superstar abilities are probably a little bit more important so something like gunslinger is a must-have this will give you the ability to pass the ball faster and get rid of the ball out of the quarterback's hands faster as well i also like to double that up a lot of times and use quick draw which this ability uh, basically takes away any throw under the pressure uh, penalties that you might get from linemen being in the area and it also helps you to get the ball out faster as well i also personally like things that help increase throw power especially since i use jalen hurts and the Eagles a lot, and that's the team I'm using in my online CFM. So, passers with this ability have increased throw power on bullet precision passes, which means that anytime you're throwing a bullet pass, you should be able to, to get a little bit more uh, you know strength behind it, which is important for guys like Jalen Hurts because he only has an A6 throw power. The last one that I really like is Conductor, and if you run a lot of hurry-up offenses, this can make it even that much harder for your opponent to set up their defense, giving you a huge advantage on offense. Next up, when it comes to running backs, there's really only two that I think are worthwhile when it comes to X-Factor abilities and that is ankle breaker and truss truss is probably the easiest one to get is you only have to rush for one plus yard to go enter the zone and basically guarantee that you won't fumble from any tackle which means that you can turn your coaching adjustment to aggressive and basically just use the higher fake out rates on a more consistent basis so to me this is probably one of the best to use so to me it's easier to unlock truss and that's probably more useful because you can use it more often when it comes to running back, the number one superstar ability to me is anything that makes your running back uh, a little bit stickier because that's going to probably be the basis of what you want to do in your run game. If you can only afford things like jukebox, you only have things unlocked like jukebox, that's going to give you much more dramatic juking animations, which is very important. But if you can also unlock things like human joystick or evasive, all these things are going to make your running back that much more, uh, you know, just more sticky when it comes to how you're running with the ball. You also have a cheaper option, uh, which is something like Playmaker, which is typically open to just about every player, which also has that ability, but it's not on the same level. But anything in that realm should work out very well for your running back. Now, the way that I like to play, though, I like to use my run game to uh, basically keep the chains moving and stay ahead of schedule, do things like getting a second and short, third and short, or even in critical situations 
situations like fourth and inches, third and inches, stuff like that, I'm going to want to use something like reach for it, which to me is a very underrated ability because this is something where you'll get those fall forward animations that just help you out through the, out the entire game. Like I said, it'll either, if you get stuck, uh, you know, at the line of scrimmage on a first and 10, you might end up in a second and seven because of this particular feature, making it much easier to get a first down later in the drive. You also have options like goal line back, which I know a lot of people have a hard time scoring inside of the red zone where you can run the ball inside of the five and this will give you improved blocking throughout your entire offensive line. So this is something that I find are more situational things to use, but they're also the most important situations because scoring touchdowns is the most important thing in the game. Getting first downs is the second most important thing in the game. And I feel that these abilities help more than just about anything else. When it comes to receivers, I find the only real X factor that you should be using is double me. And that's because there's not a lot of defenses that require double teaming. I would think things like cover two man is probably the only thing that's like a natural double team. Where if you go into the zone with this, you basically have to double team this receiver to get them out of it. So to me, since that's so rare, this is probably the best way to go. When it comes to superstar abilities, I've tried to focus on things that get the receiver open because that's obviously the most important. And route technician is definitely the best one as it has a higher chance of getting separation on the last cut of any route. So any route to the inside or outside, basically anything but a streak is going to do a job to get this receiver open better than he normally would. But I also like to use honorary lineman a lot, which is something that I find is really helpful if you're more of a run first player. So this is the type of thing that basically will allow you to win impact blocks against the defensive backs, which in a lot of situations can really spring you to outside runs, especially if you run a lot of stretch runs like I like to run. So honorary lineman is definitely something that I use quite a bit. For tight ends, I would say use double me once again. And obviously, I mentioned it earlier, matchup nightmare is a really good superstar ability based off the fact that once again, you're probably going to be covered by a linebacker a lot of times. So why not have something that gets you open against linebackers easier? Now, when it comes to linemen, I find things like Secure Protector probably going to be best because it says it protects against quick block shed moves, which obviously you want to delay your pass rush as much as possible. So having anything that does that is going to be helpful. You also have something like All Day, which will basically just you know hold that block up even longer. So those are very important. One of my favorite ones to use, though, is Nasty Streak. The most linemen um, that have Nasty Streak on them, the better, because these will make sure that they get impact blocks against linebackers and defensive backs. So if you have linemen that get to that next level, they're going to win those blocks. So to me, Nasty Streak's probably my favorite because I like to run the ball. But if you're more of a passer, then you're going to want to focus on things like all day and uh, secure protector. When it comes to pass rushers, one of the best ways to go is fear monger, as I find that it's always best to have something that can affect the accuracy of a throw because you can win it down that way even without getting a sack. So to me, just putting pressure on a quarterback and affecting a throw to the point where they can't complete a pass is huge. But I also like unstoppable force and this is because any one-on-one -on -one, uh, pass block situation they're going to win most of the time so they're going to get a lot of pressure even without sending an exotic blitz or even having a good blitz you're basically going to get pressure from this player regardless if you play more against somebody who likes to run the ball though you might want to go with run stuffer because it's the same thing only this time it's when run plays happen and there's a lot of similar superstar abilities i think you just want to focus on things like under pressure that do the same thing where basically it can apply pressure to a quarterback from a further distance away meaning that you can affect pass passes throughout the entire game simply by having this guy on a pass rush. I also find pass commit is one of the best ways to go as I probably guess pass maybe half of the game, especially if I'm ahead or something like that. Doing something as simple as guessing pass with this ability will make sure that these guys will win their pass rush blocks pretty much every single time. There are a number of really good abilities when it comes to run defense as well. Things like no outsiders, which, you know, the stretch run is probably one of the best runs in the game. So having an edge defender with no outsiders will make sure that they corral that edge a little bit better and stop outside runs a little bit more. You also have the ability to do the same thing with inside run plays, although this is probably a little bit more effective for defensive tackles. Uh, but it's still important if you have a hard time stopping the run, whether inside or outside. And last but not least, I like goal line things because that's really important when it comes to uh, keeping your opponent off the scoreboard. Things like goal line stuff basically mean that this guy is going to shed like crazy inside the five, making it to the point your opponent's pretty much going to have to pass. And it's a lot easier to punch it in on the ground when you're close to the end zone. So to me, this is a very important ability. Next up, I'm going to go over coverage guys like safeties and linebackers, off-ball linebackers before I end the video with cornerbacks. And there's a couple different ways to go here. I like to use stuff 
stuff like this, uh, Mind Reader, if you have that, which basically is the same thing as Omaha on offense for the quarterback, because this will show you the play art of the offense when in the zone. But that's a pretty rare ability, so I would find something more common are things like Shutdown and Zone Hawk, but they're basically pretty similar. Shutdown's more about getting knockouts and tighter coverage, while Zone Hawk's a little bit more about getting interceptions. After that, I really find that when it comes to safeties especially, that it's more important to pick something that the safety might cover as far as a deep zone KO ability. So if you play a lot of cover one or cover three, I think deep in zone KO is probably going to be the best way. If it's a linebacker and they're playing around the line of scrimmage, mid zone KO is probably going to be the best way. If you play a lot of cover twos, deep out K zone KO is going to be the best way. And if you play a lot of man zero blitzes or a lot of man coverages, you're going to want to go with deep route KO. But there's also important things like acrobat, which will give you the ability to uh, you know just make catches that the defender wouldn't typically make, giving you more interceptions, which is always important because possession of the ball is paramount when it comes to playing Madden. And if you're using this player, it's also better to have Lurker on, as this will allow you to just make more ridiculous jumping animations to get balls that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise as well. And this is pretty much going to be the same when it comes to cornerbacks. The only difference is they also have something called universal coverage, which to my understanding means you're basically going to get a knockout every single time when they're in the zone, whether it's man or zone that you're running. And they also have the ability one step ahead, which if you're playing in man coverage a lot, is going to be very important when it comes to cornerbacks. Probably one of the most important abilities, as this is going to be something that basically just allows them to be, you know, right in front of the receiver whenever they're running the route. So this is a very important ability to have as well. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, more tip videos for CFM, I have some planned. Just make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. If you want to see my latest gameplay from my CFM, I'll have that popping up on screen. So just click the links. And until Till next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.